Mobile usability testing is one of the most effective methods to guarantee your app will be user friendly. This method allows UX experts to quickly point out any potential issues in your design. The sooner you discover an issue, the easier it is to fix. A good mobile usability test can save you lots of money and time. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to the UX Tweaks channel. Today I will share five tips with you on how to conduct mobile usability testing. Let's get started with the first tip. You wouldn't test an Android app with iPhone users, would you? It's crucial to find participants who have used the device for a minimum of three months already. This level of familiarity will assure the effect of the device on the test will be minimal. By doing this, the test results will more accurately reflect real-world scenarios. The following test is to test your own test as well. Conduct a dry run of your study with the person who did not participate in the preparation of the study before sharing it with the participants. This can be a colleague, a friend, or an acquaintance of yours. Thereby, you'll be able to quickly determine whether everything works as it should and if all of the tasks are easy to understand and not too complicated. The third tip on your list is to test your prototype beforehand. Testing your mobile app is great, but what's even better is if you already tested that app before it was even implemented as a prototype. It is significantly more cost effective to identify and correct all the issues in a prototype rather than creating an entire app just to discover that it has a serious usability problem later on. Make sure that you include testing of prototypes in your design and development process as often as you can. The next tip is for making usability testing more easily manageable. It is simpler to split the app testing into smaller parts and conduct individual tests. Choose a use case, a flow, a module, or any other part of your application, conduct a test on it, interpret the results, and move on to the next part. By dividing the tests, it is possible to give every aspect of the app its due amount of focus. And now for our last tip. Start testing at the very beginning. The design and implementation of a mobile application is a gradual process. Each time you complete an important step of this process, test the results. This way you'll be sure that you can move on. A step like this can be anything you believe is important enough. It can be something simple such as the initial design of a flow done using plain wireframes or something complex like a fully implemented module of your application. If you want to learn even more about mobile usability testing, check out our complete guide to mobile usability testing. You will find the link in the description. We've now come to the end of this video. If you want to conduct detailed and high quality testing of your mobile application, UX Tweak will help you with this. Create a free account on UX Tweak and get started today. Also, like and subscribe to watch more videos on all things UX related. See you in the next video.